And as you join uh, me, or as I join you in staying home to flatten this curve, many of us are running into challenges with our mental health. It's nothing to be ashamed of. In fact, it's something that we should all talk about a whole lot more. News Channel 5's Casey Freeman joins us now live this morning. And Casey, this is a stressful time. And of course, isolation can really seem to make it worse. That's right, Amy, if someone is struggling with anxiety, depression, or if they're having difficulty sleeping, then they're not alone. Nearly half of the people in America feel like COVID-19 is impacting their mental health, and that's why help is only a few clicks away. Right here, I have my iPad with a couple of options. You can go into the App Store, and you can also look at some of the telehealth professional apps that you can choose from to get some help, but you can also go onto the um, Nashville's website to look at some of their resources that they have listed as well. Now, it's important to note that some of these options are free for those who may need help just because if you have lost your job, if you are unemployed during this time, it is important to still get that help during Mayor John Cooper's most recent update on the COVID-19 pandemic. He says that telehealth providers can help with more than just if you're sick. Now they have mental health professionals available to talk to you virtually. It's important to note that everyone should stay in contact with as many people as they can over the phone as much as possible. And I urge everyone to continue caring for their mental health as well as their physical health as we conf confront the coronavirus as a community. Now, an expert, an expert says it's important to stop excessive drinking and start journaling your thoughts and feelings during this time. You can head over to all of my social platforms at the Casey Freeman to see a list of resources and numbers that can help you. Back to you.